Hello everyone, my name is Lamia. I'm a research fellow at Brighton and Sussex Medical School. Today I will be presenting a summary of my paper, Erythropoietin and a non-erythropoietic analogue promote aortic endothelial cell repair under hypoxic conditions. Role of nitric oxide. Hypoxia is associated with tissue injury and is also involved in wound repair and atherogenesis due to its effect on a variety of cell processes, as cell proliferation and survival, as well as indirectly influencing the local productions of growth factor. These responses are largely mediated by the activation of a transcriptional factor, hypoxia-inducible factor 1 or HIF1, which controls the transcription of more than 100 genes. There is increasing evidence that the protective effect of HIF1 is due to the induction of several cytokine expression as erythropoietin. Erythropoietin, or EPO, is a glycoprotein which is produced in the, in the kidney and is responsible for red blood cell production, a process known as erythropoiesis. It also has tissue protective effect due to its expression in several cell types as vascular smooth muscles and endothelial cells. Although EPO is tissue protective and prevents ischemic injury of the vascular endothelium, it has side effects due to its erythropoietic activity. This gave rise to the development of EPO analogues, which are tissue protective but are not erythropoietic. We have shown previously that EPO and its analogues exhibit similar tissue protective effect under low oxygen tension, 5% oxygen, but not under normoxic conditions. The aim of this study was to investigate the tissue protective effect of both EPO and its analogue under more pronounced hypoxic condition, 1% oxygen, and to determine the putative molecular mechanism by which both confer their protection. The tissue protective effect was assessed by an in vitro wound healing model, known as scratch assay, using bovine aortic endothelial cells, or BAYX. The effects on cellular proliferation, migration, and apoptosis were also tested. Related nitric oxide production was also assessed. Using the scratch assay, we found that under hypoxic conditions, EPO and its analogues uh, and its analog enhanced scratch closure by promoting cell migration and proliferation, an effect that was not seen under normoxic conditions. Furthermore, EPO protected Bayex from apoptosis under hypoxic conditions. Results also showed that hypoxia is associated with the stabilization of HIF-1, the upregulation of EPO receptor, and a decrease in the phosphorylation of endothelial nitric oxide synthase. Hypoxia was also associated with a reduction in nitric oxide production, as assessed by the quantification of its stable nitrite and nitrate products. This is consistent with the oxygen requirement for endogenous nitric oxide production from endothelial nitric oxide synthase. These data are also consistent with the notion that the tissue protective action of EPO-related cytokines in pathophysiological settings associated with poor oxygenation are mediated by nitric oxide. This may be particularly relevant to atherogenesis and cardiovascular pathophysiology. The significance of this study is that the non-erythropoietic analogue of EPO that are tissue protective but not erythropoietic may represent a potentially safer and more effective intervention for the treatment of vascular disease as they lack the adverse vascular complication caused by erythropoietic effect of EPO. Thank you.